We present Deformable Neural Radiance Fields, or DNRF, a new method that can generate novel views of humans with photorealistic quality. Unlike previous methods, DNRF doesn't require any special equipment, and only takes a short, casually captured selfie video as input. Here we show a third-person view of a person capturing themselves on the left, and the selfie video they captured on the right. Notice the lack of special equipment and how the person moves as they capture the video. Our method starts by taking one of these videos and looking at the frames. We first discard blurry frames. Running structure for motion on these frames yields a sparse point cloud of the scene, along with the camera parameters of each frame. The sparse point cloud gives some idea about the structure of the scene, but doesn't have all the necessary details that we would like to reconstruct. Note that we only run structure for motion on the background since the person moving can cause errors on, in the registration. Using the camera registration and images from Structure for Motion, you can train a neural radiance field, or NERF, a state-of-the-art method for novel view synthesis. Unfortunately, NERF doesn't work well with non-rated scenes, and the resulting renderings have significant artifacts on the person. This is because NERF relies on photometric consistency between observations, but people tend to move while taking the video. Here we flip back and forth between two observations, which correspond to the image outlined in orange and in blue. You can see that the person's head has moved between the two observations. Focusing on the top right corner of the glasses, it's clear that the rays corresponding to the same point do not intersect. Our method solves this by allowing the rays to deform for each observation and intersect on a canonical coordinate frame. This coordinate frame is shared between all observations. This is done using a deformation field, which takes a 3D point x, y, z as input and outputs a transform point x prime, y prime, z prime. Similar to the base NERF model, we use a simple multilayer perceptron, except we additionally provide a latent observation code as input, which allows the network to encode a separate deformation field per observation. Given a group of points along the ray, we can render the scene by sampling the canonical NERF using the transform points. Please see the paper for details. We call the resulting reconstructions NERFIs. Here we show an input sequence on the left and the reconstructed NERFI on the right. Notice the high level of details in the hair and beard. In this example, the left image is a novel view rendering of the scene and the right image is the corresponding depth map computed using the median ray termination distance. Our method can reconstruct humans with a high level of detail. This includes fine structures such as strands of hair as you can see in these examples. In this capture, you can see that our method correctly reconstructs the fine structure of the glasses. Notice here that our method hallucinates refraction using view-dependent appearance. We can also handle full body scenes by having a second user capture a video. Note the detailed wrinkles on the shirt captured in the geometry, as well as the details on the glasses. Our method isn't limited to human capture. We can also reconstruct other subjects like Toby here. We can also render visual effects such as the dolly zoom. We built a simple two-view capturing rig with two phones to capture ground truth observations for novel views. We use software synchronization to capture the left and right view with 7 millisecond accuracy. Please see the paper for details. We now compare our method with two state-of-the-art view synthesis methods. We compare against neural volumes and NERF. Neural volumes can reconstruct non-rigid scenes, but needs a multi-view capturing setup to capture different views simultaneously and can't reconstruct scenes when only given a single view for each time step, as is evident from these examples. NERF hallucinates little copies of the training images in front of the cameras, which explain the training data but do not form a coherent 3D scene. Please see the paper for quantitative evaluations on these datasets. Here we start from a training view and interpolate the camera to an unseen validation view. 
Both Nerf and Neural volumes overfit to the training data and cannot render the novel view without showing significant artifacts. As a byproduct of our method, we can solve the matting problem just by ignoring samples that fall outside of the bounding box. By interpolating the deformation latent code, we can render intermediate states. For example, here we linearly interpolate the code from the left image to the code from the right image. We can also replay the input video from a fixed, novel viewpoint by rendering each frame using the appropriate deformation latent code from the input observations. Note that the skipped frames are due to the blurry image filtering. Consider this example in which the user's gaze consistently follows the camera. In this case, our method models the gaze following behavior as geometry. You can see it seems as if the user is staring at the camera, despite this being a fixed deformation. This is akin to the hollow face illusion. Our method fails when the topology changes, for example when opening the mouth. In addition, our method can't model regions which weren't well captured, instead showing persistent fog or noise. Take a look at the selfie video, which the user took so that they can make a nerfie. We can simultaneously capture a third-person video of the person capturing a video of themselves and create a nerfception.